hi everybody so we are back again with our batch tutorial this time we are covering an um, emerging topic which is known as amazon web services as we all know world is moving towards cloud services and uh, majorly there are three vendors which are providing these cloud services uh, actually there are many open source clouds like openstack and other clouds but patent clouds we have red hat microsoft and amazon if i talk about uh, north america majorly we have uh, the market of amazon cloud web services expanding very uh, very vastly and very rapidly they have started with ec2 compute and scalable storage then they moved to then they then they included various tools like cloudwatch rds then they also include developer tools now they have iot internet of things and mobile services sns and mobile analytics included in aws which really make aws a brilliant member so uh, now you can actually have your whole environment transfer to aws so people are rapidly moving over it in this tutorial i will be covering the basic things i will start with this this tutorial mainly we focused on ec2 compute mainly of uh, mainly the creation of instance which we will be covering in this tutorial so as you see as you see i have uh, i have my this account this is pre tier account with me and i have the reason us west oregon so this is my ec2 compute in compute i have ec2 in which i can create my virtual servers which are also known as instances so i'm going into it so here you see we have events tags reports and limits for ec2 dashboard here you have dashboard in which you have been displayed running instances elastic ip snapshot load balancer security groups volumes key pairs and placement groups i will try to cover each and everything in this in this series of my aws tutorials but mainly in this tutorial we will be focusing in this instance part instance part consist of instances this pull request is a new feature commands and dedicated host so these are my reasons in which my machine can be uh, uh, can be like uh, provisioned i if i am using uh, 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 auto scaling policies or if i am using cloud or if i am using clustering then i can distribute my machines into my different regions in a specific availability zone these are vpcs these are virtual port connects and this is this is the marketplace in which you can buy a different amis so let's start with creation of instance so i am i am i am creating a new instance and i will be going to launch instance then while creating a launch instance i will be given an option to change, change to choose the ami which is amazon machine image so vmi ami may be the by default amis which which um, which they already which which are been already vastly used they contain microsoft amis amazon suze ubuntu red hat those can be i can choose a specific ami through aws marketplace uh, which include zenkins zend lamp centos with hvm updates so i can also go for community amis right in which i have openstack community and i have amazon linux open suze zend2 community with different capabilities okay so i will be choosing red hat with 64 bit now i have been given the option to choose the instance type it can be t2 nano t2 micro t2 small t2 medium t2 large and m4 large there are many instances with many specific many different specifications specification include vcpu memory instance storage Uh, we will be covering a topic of storage in which i will try to distinguish between ebs and other type of storage 
then i have network performance which is already mentioned low to moderate moderate fast high so i will be choosing general purpose which is free with this uh, with this free tier eligibility uh, we can directly review and launch this instance but i am going for next so that i can cover each and every option so if you if you see here Mm, I, I am choosing number of instances one. If I am having auto scaling policy, which we will be governing in our advanced tutorial, then I can just uh, I can just attach my instance to my policy, and my instance will be managed according to my threshold set in the policy. So the request pod instance is the purchasing option, uh, which is a new feature in AWS. This network subnet and uh, auto sign IP. Is the major part of your design work. So network team ideally should be providing which VPC you are going to choose for specific VM, which subnet you need to choose you know, depends upon your availability zone, and IAM role. If you are using AD as a backend, then you need to define what type of IAM, or you can create your new IAM for this specific machine. Shutdown behavior will be stopping. You can also choose terminate. If your machine is shut down, then automatically terminate it. Or this enable termination policy, I will explain in the end of this tutorial. But but how will you, how will this policy protect your machine? Then there is an option which is known as enable cloud watch. Enable cloud watch is additional charges. I am not taking it, but you can also check this if you want to have generalized monitoring for your instance. Then there is a tenancy on which type you want dedicated machine or you want a same server, right? If you click on advance, I'm not giving any advance. Advanced sale, you can also put the user data, which type of uh, um, uh, ISO or which type of permission you want as a file to be input while creating a machine. So next is my storage, a root device. What type of root device you want? You can add a new volume. You can, if you add a new volume, you can add what type of storage you want, what type of IOPS over it want, and what is it EBS or it is root type of storage. Here is the snapshot uh, meta. So tag instance, you can tag your VM, like you can give tire, which tire? This is lamp tire. Then you can create a security group in which you can define the firewall rules or you can define the simple net network rules. You can define specific surveys, TCP, UDP, port number and allowed or not allowed from anywhere or somewhere. Otherwise you can go for an existing security group in which I have allowed it from my, from my own IP. All traffic is allowed. Then review your VM. Here you will you will get the information of instance type, security group, your instant detail, your storage, and the tags which you have used. Now launch. Now here is an important uh, thing. If you are using public key authentication for your in, uh, environment, which is really recommended, then you need to create a private key which you need to uh, which you need to preserve on your local system while using it through putty you need to create it into pkk format otherwise you can directly attach it if you are doing ssl using java otherwise you can ignore you can also uh, uh, you can also exclude the private key authentication now my uh, instance has been create, created you can see the logs, initiating launching, applying tags and launch is complete. Now if you go there and you will check the instance is being created. If you go here. So the pending instance initialization. This is our public IP, this is our key and security group is default. If you saw here it is still in progress you will have double check for your status checks and 
now your instance is running your initial check if you if you just check it you will find the information in the bottom and you will find availability zone default rules schedule events if you go to status checks status check detect problem name pair learn more about so you can also create the status check this is monitoring which we haven't enabled no alarm configured these are the tags so it may take um, uh, some time because sometime uh, our os need time to install right so in 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 an overview we have just created t2 micro type instance with the instance id this with availability zone is us west 2b uh, its state state is running state check is still initialization alarm status is none because we haven't set it public dns ip this is our public dns which can be used to login if we are going on to a network just paste that into https and you will be able to login this is our public ip this is our authentication key monitoring is disabled security group is default so this is how our uh, whole machine uh, whole instance has been created in uh, aws which is very simple actually this is this has been terminated so after after termination it will be there for some time and uh, uh, it uh, uh, after some time it will automatically automatically will be removed from this uh, record so it's still initialization is going on uh, why i'm waiting for initialization completion because i just want to uh, uh, play with that uh, uh, termination option which I initially told you that I will explain when I will be at the end of my tutorial so in this way we will be covering almost every topic of AWS last request is please subscribe the tutorials so that we can at least be motivated to work for you guys as as we are also working professionals so whenever we got a time we try to cover uh, what we should cover right uh, it's still in initialization stage let me refresh it once yes yeah, still in initialization so if i just try to terminate it it is saying are you sure you want to terminate these they these instances have termination protection will not be terminated so when i mean yes terminate it's not allowing me so this is what termination protection do if you really want to terminate you first need to go to the change termination protection and disable it if you disable it now when you will terminate it it will not ask yes terminate is now highlighted so in this way your termination protection will uh, will prevent your VM for accidental termination. So this is this is what we try to cover in this tutorial. Thanks. Please share and like this tutorial.